just follow your trail And I'm losing your mind And I'm losing your head Let me escape from this some love Cause I'm a prisoner I just want to look my about six things to do for you can make a kitchen garden out of what you have that is if you have a small space where you live just a small space or you need these some containers or you can make some wood uh, you can join some wood pieces join some wood pieces and make up uh, plants some plants are not planted as seeds but you can plant them as vegetative parts like when you talk of onions so that will make sure that you don't have an onion budget in your home you can also plant some kales mostly in a kitchen garden what you plant are vegetables you can go ahead and find some carrots some coriander and other things things that you commonly or mostly use those are the things to include in your so a kitchen garden is easy and simple to make it's going to take you less than an hour or an hour or so but the only thing you'll be needed to do is to water them and then you can plant them when it's time or when they have matured and you can use them in your home that will have minimized the budget that you use because if you have to buy some onions now there's no more buying when you have a kitchen garden that is operating and that's all about a kitchen garden the other one is you can try a new recipe try something that you have never cooked before or you have never baked before so it can be either cooking of food or baking a new or baking a new cake or something so food is one of the things that join the families together in most families you're going to find that they they are always together when it's time to share the meals so when you try a new recipe and maybe you have some friends or families it's good you share it with them and you're going to have a good time trying your new recipe and they're go you're going you're also going to get some feedback from them whether it's good or whether there's something you need to adjust on it if there's something you need to adjust on it then you do it another time and you adjust with that you can also come up with a you can also start an eatery a small eatery or a small hotel you can make some ebooks or write some ebooks which can you can also sell and still still on uh, trying a new recipe you can start some online classes so you can start some classes you invite some people you teach them your new recipes and most of them are going to pay for them pay for the classes and they're also going to enjoy having the new recipes in their home that's all about doing some exercise or exercising at home if you're not closer to a gym or you cannot access the gym there are a lot of exercises that you can do at the comfort of your home you don't necessarily need the machines all you need to do is to implement and have a small space and uh, you do some exercises for your body improvement so with that you're going to have gotten rid of some diseases that are brought about by some weight there are some diseases that are brought about by weight may it may be gaining a lot of weight or you can also do some exercises to gain the weight if you feel like you need to add some weight it's good because it energizes you and gives you new energy to start a new day when you exercise and it also keeps the body fit 
that's all about exercising it's good to invest in your health and that one does not cost much all you need is a small space where you can exercise and you can still upload some apps we have a lot of apps that you can upload in your phone and you use them for exercises or for doing those exercise and keeping your body fit number four number four Number four, you can make some detergents, soaps and detergents at home. Soaps and detergents are one of the things that are mandatory or we have to use them in our homes for cleaning services, for cleaning clothes, laundry, for cleaning everything in our homes. So the chemicals are cheap to buy, that is when they are raw materials. The procedure of making the detergent is also very simple and the advantage of making your own detergent is that you're going to make the amount of detergent that you're going to need for a particular time. That means you're not going to buy the detergent. They're going to have uh, your specific or you can choose your best perfumes that you can use or the ones that you like. You don't necessarily have to use a detergent that has a perfume that you don't need so you have a variety of perfumes that you can choose to use and uh, you still make them and ensure that they are not reacting with your skin so they have to be they don't have to be skin sensitive they have to rhyme or they have to not they, they have to be better when you're using them they should not react on your skin so the procedure of making the detergent is simple I'm going to create a video later for making detergents at home. It's very simple and it's also it also minimizes your budget when you create them, when you make them at home. It becomes simple and it, it becomes so simple and it's cheaper compared to purchasing of detergents from the from the market or from the supermarket. That is about the detergents, making of soaps and detergents at home. The other one is number five, creating of a budget. When you're idle, it's good you create your own budget, maybe a weekly budget, a monthly budget, or even a budget for the day. This one is going to help you track your money and ensure that there is no misuse or buying of impassive impulsive buying that is buying of things that you don't require at the time things that you're not even using and when you keep track of your money and ensure that you're not using more money than expected and you can be able to track your money use the money that you have only intended to use having reduced a lot of things in uh, doing these activities like you have reduced the budget of maybe the vegetables you have reduced the budget of uh, detergent the budget is going to be favorable as you have already reduced some things so after doing these things you can also make a budget and see or you can differentiate between before you had the budget and after always a budget is going to be favorable and it works on your favor always the last one number six you can read books and articles reading not a lot of people a lot of people do not like reading but most do reading of books and articles is going to ensure that you get some knowledge more knowledge on a certain field on knowledge a certain uh, something that you like reading about the more you continue reading or the more you read the more you get more knowledge of in a certain field so after reading some books it is good you start a blog start a blog of a certain field that you are comfortable with and uh, you can go on and uh, write the more you write the more you become experienced and the more you get experience the more you can even turn it from a part-time job to a full-time job there are even some people who have some home offices for blogging in which they have already turned it as a full-time job and blogging. So blogging pays. Apart from blogging, you can also create a journal or a magazine that you're going to produce maybe every month three, and people are going to buy the magazines and journals. 
and they're going to read them and also you can get some income from there those are the six things i wanted to share that one can do when i do for self-improvement and thank you so much for watching my videos see you when you see me again in my next video bye